Hey guys, Roman here from Grimworks Productions and Perils of the Warp. Uh, here to bring you the last part in our little shade, kind of uh, locking off with varnishes, things like that, uh, video. And this week we're going to tackle uh, anti-shine. So right there, I just use the uh, Armor Painters anti-shine, uh, but that's a matte finish, so it brings it down. And I'll give you an example of a... Uh, one that I've done with all the steps. Let me see if I can bring the light over here. You'll see that guy. So there you go. Uh, but yeah, what we're going to do is we are going to uh, lay a uh, satin varnish on it. Or a matte varnish, I'm sorry. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. Alright, and guys, you can see that... After last week's video, I've done uh, the shading process that I usually do, and this usually doesn't happen with um, the uh, with my dark angels because I usually don't use this type of paint scheme. As you can see in their little thing, uh, this is a hell blaster that I've done, so mine come out a little bit darker, and I use the same type of thing. I even put some decals on him, so he looks really cool. Uh, but yeah, this is my finished product for Dark Angels. So, how we get to that is we do a um, matte varnish, or I use the uh, Army Painters um, Anti-Shine. So, the same process as we did before, we're just going to put in a few drops of the flow improver like so uh, yeah that should be enough for what we're going to do today it's not going to be a lot don't forget to shake up any of your products that you are going to use now one two three four come on uh yeah so like i said just using the war uh what is it, the army painters war paints and tie shine so pretty good stuff i'm gonna get my brush like we did last time and just mix it up i'll mix it up off camera and this is an actual clear you're gonna notice in the pot um, before with the uh, gloss varnish it was a white now it's just clear so we're gonna do the same process uh that we did for gloss varnish except we're not going to go so um so hard on that uh making it look uh i guess over painting so what we're gonna do and you're gonna see gives it a little bit of shine but once it dries it's gonna look real good it's gonna look uh matte it's gonna look what you usually see in a lot of models um, just do it all over the, the model and there you go it's gonna look a little like this but we're gonna come back when it's actually dry and you'll see the difference all right guys and now we're back with it being all done up and it's gonna look a little shiny just because of the lights but trust me it is matte it is matte as hell and you can actually tell because i have a gloss one right here so in comparison you can see how much light is shining off when this one is glossed and this one is uh just the uh, matte so yeah that is pretty much it this is uh where i started doing a lot of detail work with painting the guns uh doing a lot of metallics around the uh, gun a little bit of the face mask uh doing some black and some of these um little um rubber pieces basically uh, so yeah this is where i started doing a lot of detail work and this uh doesn't take you very long i mean in a whole day you can pretty much prime um i'd say if you have some time and you have about three hours you can go from just assembled unprimed to priming and everything else um so yeah and then you can start doing the detail work soon after that. But I hope that you did enjoy this video. Uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe uh, to youtube.com slash grimworks. And yeah, 
Uh, you can find some more painting videos. We can have, find uh, Perils of the Warp Bar, Warhammer Podcast. And yeah, if you have any comments on what we should do next, um, I have a few little videos in mind for what we should do next. But if you want to continue this from, uh, you know, I've pretty much done the priming of this to um, the rest of the stuff that we have here. Uh, we can take it to all the way that I have that uh, Hellblaster that I showed you where we did everything for it. But either way, thank you for watching and have a good one.